Ostródzie, targi Pro Defense i mamy tutaj przedstawiciela prywatnej, co warto zaznaczyć, prywatnej firmy hiszpańskiej, która produkuje dosyć fajne rozwiązania przeciwpancerne i chcieliśmy Państwu je pokazać i poprosić przedstawiciela firmy, żeby nam opowiedział o tych systemach, które mają, jeśli to są prawdziwe, a łatwo pewnie to będzie sprawdzić przy testach, pewne możliwości, które wydają się być całkiem interesujące. What can you tell me first of all about the company which okay. is making this? Instalasa mm -hmm. is a Spanish-owned company. Mm -hmm. It's a 100% private-owned company. Okay, we have been in the defense market for uh, over 70 years. Mm -hmm. okay. Actually, next year is our 70th anniversary in the market, and uh, we are a company that are that is focused uh, mainly in infantry weapons. This okay. We provide safe solutions for uh, infantry soldiers. Okay. Every, all the products that we do, everything that you can see here, is products that have been uh, developed, uh, manufactured, and tested 100% uh, in Spain. The only, the only parts that are not manufactured in Spain mm -hmm. or are done in Spain is some parts of the of the electronics of the system, mm -hmm. but there's no the, there's no restrictions regarding license uh, towards Poland, for example, because mm -hmm. it's uh, from European com European companies. Okay. So the only restriction that the company could have. In the, the moment of the sale, is the restrictions that our MOD or our government can, can mm -hmm. have in a certain moment. Okay. But uh, being Poland a NATO country, Spain being a NATO country, all the system being uh, NATO, mm -hmm. having NSN and all the NATO standards, so so we have zero problems to for, for licenses in, uh, in Poland. Okay. From from Polish perspective, we lack a good light anti-tank weapons. Mm -hmm for main army and also for builder uh, right now is building we are building a Polish territorial army mm -hmm. so we need something light to uh, defeat uh, some tanks which have some strong protection from standard mm -hmm. armor and uh, contact fight for example okay. so can these products help to yes def definitely we we I mean we are we are the the providers of the, all the anti-tank weapons for mm -hmm. the Spanish army, but also we are present in more than 40 countries around the world. Mm -hmm. So our system has been tested and has been used in different conflicts all around the world. So what we have learned through the years is the differences that our system has to have and the necessities that our clients have. So all these necessities, all these uh, needs that the clients have and that we have learned through, through the years, being a small uh, well, a familiar company, not small, but being a familiar company. Not only us, private, owned, yeah, but family, family owned family. also. Yes. This, this helps us to introduce all these needs very fast in the systems. So we are very reactive towards these necessities that the clients have. Mm -hmm. And for example, talking about Contact 5, this is a, the Alcotan 100. Mm -hmm. It's a system that we have developed uh, with a very, very powerful anti-tank warhead. Mm -hmm. And this tandem anti-tank warhead, one of the main characteristics is that it can defeat the Contact 5 uh, uh, reactive armor. Okay. So even after the Contact 5 reactive armor, we can penetrate 700 millimeters of uh, RHA, mm -hmm. which is, a, which is uh, well, I believe that is yeah. quite, quite a lot. We are, I think, uh, maybe the, uh, you can count with uh, less than one hand the, the, the companies in the world that really can do this. And I think that uh, it's something that every company that says that, that it can do, it can do should demonstrate to any client that they do it because it's something that we have had to do with some clients mm -hmm. and we have to demonstrate. Yeah. So it's not just saying that you can do it, it's demonstrated that you can do it. That you can do it. What yeah. can you say about the big problem? Okay, from the, the, the Alcotan is a disposable weapon, mm -hmm. okay, the, it's composed of two parts. One is the fire control unit, it's called Bosel, mm -hmm. and the other one is the tube. The tube is with the ammunition inside, the tube is disposable, the fire control unit is reusable. Mm -hmm. okay. We have three types of ammunition for the for the Alco tank. It's a hundred caliber, so we have a tandem warhead anti-tank, we have an anti-bunker, and we have a dual purpose. Okay. The anti-tank, as we said, mm -hmm. is uh, 700 millimeters in after, react after reactive armor to a point target of 600 meters up to 40 kilometers per hour. Mm -hmm. That gives us a 90% single shot hit probability, which is uh, incredibly high. Yes. It's close to missiles uh, probabilities. 
And this is the thing which we should state that this is not a missile. It's not a missile, it's a rocket. Everything yeah. that we do is rocket. Rocket against missiles it's have... not guided. It's not just aim. It's, it's like the, only, rifle. The, the secret of the weapon is the fire control unit, mm -hmm. apart from the warhead, but the fire control unit that does mm -hmm. all the calculations for future naming point, and this gives us high chance of, of hitting. It's a, the fire control unit is composed of a day vision, mm -hmm. integrated night vision, laser rangefinder, and ballistic computer. And if the client wants, you can uh, make a thermal. Yeah, there's possibi this possibilities to do many things. As I told you, we are a private company, private own company, uh, and we are very reactive. So any need that we see that our clients have, mm -hmm. we can really start thinking or even implementing it in, in our systems. One thing that we have done with all the clients, and I think it's a very, we are very proactive towards transfer of technology. Mm -hmm. So, uh, with some clients, they, what we what we have an agreement with them is that they can uh, produce completely fully the fire control unit. Mm -hmm. So they can also think about new ideas and new possibilities to integrate the fire control unit. So it's a future mm -hmm. long long distance relationship without without having the need of us. Mm -hmm. So. In the case of the Arco tank, the only thing that needs uh, maintenance mm -hmm. and support is the fire control unit. The other thing is a tube that is disposable. Oh, storage. No, you can store it for more than two years. Storage is now... Every ammunition is uh, sealed, mm -hmm. it comes sealed, and also it comes inside a, a bag. And this bag protects the ammunition from temperature, from change of humidity. Mm -hmm. So in, if the ammunition is inside of the bag, it, it will last for Achieve 90% of the The main reason of, for, for this is uh, the fire control. Mm -hmm. okay, as I told you, it has night vision, day vision, and the laser vision. Okay, the fire control unit normally, the soldier has it on, mm -hmm. uh, on his pocket, so he goes, he goes with the fire control. So, you so, can use it for. Yeah, you can use it for surveillance. Mm -hmm. The fire control unit has a, an on off, mm -hmm. the trigger is below. So the gunner, what it does is just simply turn it on. When uh, it's placed in the tube through this contact here, mm -hmm. it has an interface to, to, to change, interchange information between mm -hmm. the fire control unit and the tube. Mm -hmm. Okay. The information that the fire control unit receives is type of ammunition that is in, inside of the tube, because this fire control unit can be used with any type of ammunition. Mm -hmm. So it recognizes the type of ammunition and the temperature of the ammunition. This temperature is important and the type of ammunition is important because not all the ammunition fly the same way. So by having that, those two uh, inputs of information, the ballistic computer that is inside already knows what type of calculation has to do for the future aiming. Mm -hmm. So once you open the fire control unit, it gives you a certain type of information, what type of uh, ammunition is inside, the temperature, you don't know it, but it, it knows it. And after that, the uh, cross comes, appears mm -hmm. in the screen. This cross, you place it on the target, you press the laser range finder and it will automatically calculate the distance. If the target is moving, it will also calculate the, the, the speed mm -hmm. and also the, the trajectory. Mm -hmm. Because maybe it's coming towards you, yeah. maybe it's going far away or it's just okay. passing by. So with those uh, inputs, the fire control unit calculates the future aiming point. So the cross will move, if it's a static, static target it will go down, if it's moving it will go down to the left or down to the right. The gun just place the fire control unit, the, the cross again in the target and press fire. Yeah. So the soldiers can be worried about the laser and the tanks? No, no, because uh, the, the laser that we have is a pulse laser, it's a very light uh, laser, so it's very difficult for the new systems that uh, can find laser range finders for tracking for missiles and everything. This uh, is, is quite difficult. Also, so the, the timing. This should be invisible for uh, yeah. detection of lasers yeah, from be. the tanks. Should be. Okay. I mean, uh, you know, technology is permanently changing, yeah, so yeah. we are always thinking and, and, and looking what is the, the, the rest of the people doing, so we try to be in advance of, of all that. But uh, yes, for the moment, we can say yes. And also, it's the timing. It's very fast. Once uh, we have uh, training systems, we have simulators, and the soldiers learn with the training system and the simulators to use the system, you can be doing a fire from an arco tank to a tank at 600 meters in less than four seconds. So less than four seconds, mm -hmm. uh, it's nothing in time for a very, very fast. Okay. What can you say about the little problems? Okay. The, the C90 is uh, different. 
PC90 is a light caliber system. Uh, uh, the performance is less, obviously it's less caliber, it's less performance. This is what we call every man's weapon. Mm -hmm. Every soldier can be carrying one of these. Okay? We have three, three types of C90. This is the C90 CS, which is for confined space. Mm -hmm. So you can fire this uh, from, the, the, from, a, from a very small room. Mm -hmm. okay? Following any standard of NATO. We follow 100% of the standard of NATO. So it's NATO, NATO certified. Okay? So this can be fired from a very, from a very small room. Uh, the, the distance is uh, 300 meters mm -hmm. for a point target. We can go up to 700 meters for an area target. Mm -hmm. This, we said it was 600 meters for a point target, 1,200 for an area target. Okay. So it's, distance is less, it's every, every month weapon is a different type of weapon. This is used by naval infantry, special forces, and any section. Of, uh, this is disposable. We have, uh, this is this, the C90 CS confined space, but we have the C90 without confined space, which is very similar to this one. Uh, type of ammunition, we have anti, anti tank, anti bunker, dual purpose. Uh, Smoke, mm -hmm. and uh, we have another one which is called enhanced blast, which is over pressure. It's good for shooting caves and uh, And this is the C90. This is this is the, the C90 reusable. It's exactly the same. The only difference is that this one can be reused. Oh. So this this is a cube. That weighs 3.5 kilos, which is very, very light. Okay. Yeah. This is just a mock up, so okay. but this is the EI vision. We have two types, two, two types of, uh, of, ways of ways of aiming with the. We can have the normal disposable uh, optics, mm -hmm. or we can have the EI vision. The EI vision, you can select the type of ammunition that you're going to fire, so automatically inside you can see the aiming mm -hmm. for this type of ammunition. You can place also on top of uh, here a night uh, vision device, the BN38, uh, that is a night vision device that we manufacture. Mm -hmm. And also you can uh, place a laser telemetry, a laser range finder. This laser range finder will help you to know the distance of the target so that the, the gunner can do the firing much faster. Mm -hmm. This is with a bikini. So this, yes. this is the soldier with him. It's easy to carry in your pocket, but if the soldier prefers, he can, he can carry it on. So, the system is very simple. Wait, you charge it from behind. While the good thing about charging the system from behind is that all the weight of the ammunition is yeah. in your shoulder. It will always stay in your shoulder. Mm -hmm. You don't have the weight of the ammunition of, in front of you, so at the end, it becomes heavy. It always is very easy to handle because all the weight is in your shoulder. What is the weight of the... The ammunition, yeah. you have different types uh, of ammunition, so it's different weights. So yeah, the, the difference example, is in between, between 2 and 3.5 okay. kilos. At the end, the system is less than, less than 7 kilos armed. Mm -hmm. But uh, just the, the tube itself is 3.5 kilos, which is very, very good. And the aiming, the aiming process is very simple. Once you have uh, charged the ammunition, it locks the ammunition inside. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to fire, you open this and you take away the ammunition again. The system can be armed with one hand. Arm, take away the safety, fire. Very simple. Okay. Put it in safe again, you can charge a new ammunition. You can do up to 1,000 uh, 1, shots with uh, mm -hmm. one single kill. This is, this is a quite a big amount of firing yeah. with one single kill. What is the uh, cargo piece of the, the, the same one as in IP. You, we can penetrate the 400, 400 uh, RSA, not the uh, ERA. Yeah. So in this case, the reactive fire yeah. will, will affect the penetration. It won't stop it, but it will affect it. But this is a, a weapon that is for a... This, is, we, this we call a weapon for master gunners. Mm -hmm. And this is a weapon for every man shot. Okay. Okay. So it's, it's, but it's, it's good, good penetration at a good distance. And the single shot probability is very high. It's up to 70%, 60%, 70%.